What is happening, everybody out there in Twitch land? My name is GM Dave, and I am your host for Role Play Games, a variety Twitch channel that focuses on video games, TTRPGs, such as tonight, and occasionally fitness. And yeah, tonight's adventure is another adventure into Dungeons and Dragons 5e in the world of Arcanish, the Shattered Empires by Paradigm Concepts. But before we begin, I always love taking this time. I gotta just introduce my wonderful, lovely cast of characters here. First, we're gonna st start from the top left. The one and only, and the most terrifying member of the party, maybe because she's all five foot nothing, Adita Valdelinov. No idea what you're talking about. I'm a pure delight. And next to her, the silent death himself. You know him. You love him. He is the champion of the fighting pits of Sweet Savona, Nico Valborda. Just so you know, Adita, you're the reason Nico sleeps with a gun. <laughs> and you... Our newest acquisition. Well, you know what? No. She's just part of the group now. She has shown herself a member of the team. She fought the crap monster with everybody else. Ladies and gentlemen, the one who knows all, the one who is the master of the cards, Fortuna Valmihen. Oh, that's awesome. And, and the future looks like, ooh. We're just going to put that away. <laughs> All right, I hope you're all hungry tonight because you know him, you love him. He loves to eat everything that's put in front of him. Sometimes even people. Sir S. Uh, that has never been proven. I have not eaten any persons or peoples. Uh, I, I snacked on a uh, commanding officer once. And was a uh, re redoubted, uh, retold, uh, rebuffed, rebuffed, very harshly. It was very upsetting. So I don't snack on officers anymore unless everyone's asleep, uh, and I am on midnight duty camping for a uh, guard. Yeah. Uh, that was strangely specific. What? And last but not least, our holy person of the group she's is the one me again no not you oh. she is the one that makes sure everybody stays up next time i'll pick my phrasing better <laughs> ladies and gentlemen i would like to introduce to you our very own cleric theodora valsheem there's always more than one way to help a person yes nico giggity indeed <laughs> Now, before we begin tonight's adventure, since this is a PG-13 um, stream, every every stream we're allowed... Emotional damage! Oh my god! Slavinus, what are you uh, doing? Slavinus, did you miss us? You missed us, didn't you? No, you missed Nico? Damn it, yeah, Corey. nobody misses Nico. <laughs> All right, do you feel better about yourself? No. <laughs> Just what happened? What did I miss? Oh, there we go. Okay. We... Rolling for the F-bomb. That's what we needed. I, I, I rolled. Rolling for the F-bomb. I got you. I got a 50. I win. No, the winner. <sighs> oh, Adita beat me. Adita got the 19. Sl Slavinus, Ceres, give me an actual D20. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what? You deserve that. that. I love that you, but you deserve it. <laughs> you deserve what you get, son. All right, our cast is here. The F Bob is set. Let us begin tonight's adventure of the Burnished Band. Hey. The rise and fall of empires drives our canis. Their petty dramas played out against the backdrop of civilizations. 
peaceable halflings. Insectoid Isori and Ilhuan, they were all of them wiped out by the unstoppable force of reptilian Sethragor, whose magic twisted the elemental lords to forge the Ilori. Elf-like children of nature, enslaved by Sethragor and might, abused by their cruel creators, the Ilori revolted. They carved out a time of peace and order on Onara, a time when gods walked the earth. But peace is not the story of Arcanus. Ancient ships brought the humans to Onara. They slew the Ilori gods all but one. The human kingdoms rose and fell, and a dark human power grew in a mandragore. The sorcerer king who drew magic and power to him with unnatural might. In his arrogance, a curse was laid. The infernal hordes spewed forth across the world, crushing human, Dwarf and Elori in their wake, rising to meet them, a last alliance of humanity, the Koryani Empire, forged in a time of legend. But the age of legends is long past, and the Koryani Empire is fading. The Elori of the Vast would return. The Sorcerer King, maybe Mandragor, sends black ships to capture all with arcane potential. Sethragor gathers power in dark machinations, and the human nations point swords at one another. Now, the mortal future is at stake. Heroes must choose the greatest good as often as the lesser of two evils. Arcanus, the world of shattered empires. Welcome back, everyone. Tonight, we yet again bigger, begin our adventure in the lands of Sweet Savona, where our heroes, after enjoying themselves... Are you all right there, Slavinus? No, I'm fine. No. <laughs> Did I miss what happened? Yeah, but I hurt. Okay. Okay. Well Listen, next time, don't put that in your eye. We've talked about this. Phrasing! <laughs> Nobody specified what went where. Okay, recap! Damage. Our heroes are now, after spending some time, uh, Nico having a reunion with his brother, Mika, in a little restaurant by the name of... <clears throat> by the name... Uh, Seppi, by the name of the Midnight Diner, run by Shiro. After enjoying pleasant meals, after enjoying good company, our heroes then decided to retire when Mika had to attend to his own situation. And with the help of Harlequin, if I do recall, Harlequin was sent out on a task to kind of observe Nico's brother and what dealings. And... I like how it, how it distracts him every time. <laughs> Damn it! You know what? Boom, Winning there we go. <laughs> I <laughs> muted it! Haha! <laughs> so everyone can hear it except me. Yes! So, after uh, Harlequin did report back about what happened, it looks like there was about to be a big gang fight. And gang Michael fight. was yeah. the one who ended it very swiftly using the very similar abilities and powers that resembles Nico. And enjoying the rest of their evening in silent comfort. The next morning happens. Our party or orders a wonderful breakfast. Harlequin tells the tale. And... Adita and Theodora have themselves a wonderful cathartic moment. And I have to remember to make a clip of that because that was actually really nice. So, Oria, Oriana then arrives along with your food and she starts to hand out lipstick and beads because this is the Festival of a Thousand Kisses where the person with the most beads and either the most beads, the most kisses, both combined together, will win a grand prize 
of having a wonderful week spent in luxury at the temple of Larissa. There's a prize, you say? Well, I think I'm going to go threaten a lot of people for their beats. All right. So, my heroes, you are in your room. You have finished your food. You have gathered the go-away beads and all sorts of beads and lipstick. What would you all like to do? I want more go-away beads. How do I get more go-away beads so people go away faster? Uh, you Theodora, have quite... how does this work? Theodora, Unfortunately, Theodora is muted. muted. That might help. <laughs> <laughs> does, does Theodora have some in her pack? Like, well, just, like... many were given to you guys. Adita yeah. currently has uh, some a bunch on her left arm, a bunch on her right mm -hmm. arm, some slung over her shoulder. No, you're fine, honey. Just, just give one to someone who's coming up to you. Just say, here you go, bye. It's that simple. Do I have enough to make the whole city go away? The city of people who are trying to come after you, maybe. Okay. But I'm holding you to it. And if they don't have enough beads to make them all leave, I'm taking yours. Nika, I will gladly give you your give, Can I have give them to you. Theodore, <laughs> I swear to God, I'm sorry, I'm trying to pay attention to you, but Fortuna's over here like so ready. <laughs> God, Fortuna is the embodiment of 90s body glitter. Nico. I love it. I love it so much. She is sentient body glitter Lisa Frank and every one of those girls who thought she was Nancy from the craft. Ceres, <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, what's with the grabby hand? Beads, please. Uh, Oriana, do we have some four beads for Ceres? Oh, yes, I brought some for everyone. Ah, Extra for Adita. Beads, please. You get handed beads. Yeah, More beads, please. Beads. Ceres, what are you doing with all the beads? I'm going to keep them. They're very pretty. That's not how beads work. The beads are ah. to make people leave. What? It's... But I want them. Can I have a bead so I can leave? Theodore gives him a bead. Okay, I'm gonna leave out the door. <laughs> I get him by the collar. I want to collect the beads. You know, you have to, you you have to give those to the active participants. <gasps> Hijo de la gran puta madre! <laughs> I guess I'm smelling my espresso all over the table. Does that count towards the <laughs> F bomb? <laughs> No, it's in Spanish. It doesn't count. YouTube doesn't count. <laughs> 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 <sighs> All over my mouse and my mouse pad. I blame Seppi. like that in quite a while. Congrats. Oh, I love it. Uh, Theodora, after giving some, uh, 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 her pet lizard, um, sorry, my brain's frazzled. After giving, um, <laughs> after handing over the beads, she is going to grab up her things and go to take a shower or a bath. While she's gone, I steal her beads. She took her beads with her. Damn it. Sorry, stress, stress. Keep I I keep blending your name, Slovenus and Stress. Yeah, Slovenus. It's fine. Yep. So, is any of you actually going to participate in the event? Me. Yeah, oh, why not? Nico, what's the event? Oh, by the way, Nico, you also have a big red kiss mark on your cheek from Theodora last time. Yep. That's yeah, right. So, uh, Ceres, basically, we kind of run through town. Or, well, Theodora, it is we're running through the streets, right? Or is it just kind of doing our normal thing and things happen? The Theodora wants to go take a bath. Uh, Oriana, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ariana Grande 
You tell me, so, okay? There's going to be a portion of the city that is going to be opened for everyone. There's going to be a lot of spectators. Uh, we'll probably have to get you three registered. Just to let you know, if you're going to be participating in the event, you have to give your beads to others. What? You're going to be too busy trying to get beads and get kisses, and won't have time to hand out beads. Kisses? What? Why are people kissing me? That's part... It's called the Festival of a Thousand Kisses. A thousand of them? I don't know if I can fit that many on my uh, my nose, but uh, we can try. Yeah, you got some small real estate there, Ceres. It's true. It's very small. I'm tiny. So, Oriana. Um, so there's a, <laughs> there's a part where it's already sectioned off to run, right? It's going to be a big portion of the city because a lot of people like to participate. You're, there's, ho there's other hotels, there's cafes that people can go into. But majority of the people are going to also be on the streets, on the sides. And I'll just translate it to Ceres speak. So, uh, are we all ready to go? While the dial-up noises are still going with Ceres and he's processing everything that's going on. What? <laughs> yeah, go. Let's go. Sure. Um, so if I give bead, I get a kiss. So I just chase people down and throw beads at them and get kisses. I understand this game. Um, it's good no, game. No, it, it's Let's not Let's go. That. We're on our way. And he leaves. <laughs> You're going to keep an eye on him, right? I throw a beat. The first person I see in the hallway, I throw a beat at them. Oh, God. First person. You know what? Give me a percentile. Let's say percentile? 30%. Nah, 40. Comedy. Nine. Nine. So, your favorite concierge just happens to be the <laughs> first person you come across. I... Chuck a beat at him as hard as I can. And then I go and I grab him and I kiss him right and like, I got one. Am I winning now? Can, um, I, can I just drag Ceres back to the room by his tail? Oh, Fortuna's cackling. Yeah. <laughs> He's not even trying to hide it. Ariana is on the ground laughing. <laughs> I think we probably should... Tell Theodora what we're doing, because she went to the bath. Oh my... Ceres, that's, yeah. not how, that's not how it works. I'm sorry, Ariana. Oriana. Yeah, 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 like I said, Ariana Grande, let's go. Bath time. All right, so, the thing is, the, wait, Theodora are we... Very... They don't very much have to take a bath. She also like had all the all of her own blood on her from when she took that huge chunk out of her shoulder. I was like, oh yeah, she probably shouldn't be going th running through the street with dried blood. So that's you... character. <laughs> Give me a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead, change up the music. So, who is actually? Going to actually be going to the the bath to meet up one. All right, so so Ceres is going. Oriana's going. So Ceres and Oriana, I take it, are going to. Okay, Fortuna <laughs> and Nico. Okay, now everyone's gonna go to the bath real quick. <laughs> detour. I didn't so expect every... this to happen. It's just detour. Uh huh. So, you clean yourself up. Do you want to spend some time in the hot spring or just take a bath and try to be about your business? Mm, hot spring later. Let's take a bath now. All right. So, as you're taking the bath, Oriana says, Ceres and Nico, this part is for the ladies. Please oh, wait good. right here. Let's go. Ceres, come on. What? We can't go in there, Ceres. Why? Because that's where all the girls go 
we go to a different one. But Nico, you remember that one time that all the ladies went over to the uh, pool when we were on March and you were like, hey, Ceres, I know a good bush we can watch from. <laughs> no, Ceres, you're the one who said, you know, good bush to watch from. I tried to stop you. Oh, is that how that went? Oh, that's what you told me to tell them when they found us. Yes, I remember. That's exactly how that went. <laughs> yes. Sorry. We need to work on your memory, Ceres. Wow. It's okay. I know a window. <clears throat> oh. and yeah, so, yeah, Ceres, let's go over here. <laughs> Ceres, how old were you when Nico tried to pin the blame on you? I don't know. Six? Five? How do Ceresans age again? I don't know. Six? Five? How many Orion. is six again, Nico? Oriana will go into the bath. I take it Fortuna will go as well. Now, are you guys here to bathe or you just want to let uh, Theodora know what's going on? Just letting Theodora know what's going on. So, okay. into the bathhouse. You know, Oriana explains to the, the mistress of the women's bath that she's just going to run in and let her cousin know that... <clears throat> Yeah, she's gonna let it run in, let her cousin know of where the her and the entire party is going to meet. Mm. So, Oriana Fortuna walk in. Theodora, you have scrubbed yourself pretty well. You got all the blood yep. off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You do. You do see Oriana and uh, <laughs> and. Fortuna, I almost said Theodore, Fortuna are standing next to you. Hey. hey yeah, Theodore's are Theodore's already dressed in like her like one of her newer togas, bright scarlet red, nice everything's all clean and proper. Well, are you ready to go? Up. That was cool. Oh quick. yeah. By the way, I think uh Ceres threw some beads at the concierge. Oh dear. He took me through beats at the concierge and probably kissed him too. It was great. <laughs> did he did he use teeth? If no. you mean does the concierge's face still exist? We're fine. Okay. Or what she what... really meant was did he give him the Ceretian kiss? <laughs> I guess you would know, right, Witch? Hey, let me I'm... see your teeth. Theodora just dabs some perfume on herself while they're like talking about <laughs> the you know, It's funny, those don't look particularly pointy. Are you sure you're Ceretian? I mean, <laughs> witches, you can't trust them. All they do is lie to you. Grumble, grumble. Accurate? Do a lot of that. All right. So let's go grab the boys and let's go have a good time. Yep. And don't worry, Adita. You can just stay next to me. I have my go away beads. I'll be fine. As as Theodora is walking past, she hip bumps Adi uh, Adita into Oriana. And. Adi to like fumbles or go away beads all over the place and it's like just an utter wreck. It's really embarrassing for everyone, um, especially Nico. Especially Adita. I love Theodore just being the teasing older sister. It's just like, yeah, I'm just gonna hit bump you into your crush. Adita is going to kind of cast a a filthy look over her shoulder up at Theodora as she like scrambles to pick up all of her go away beads and stack mm -hmm. them up, uh, hang them around her neck and everything like I know what you did. One kind of second. Like, I hate you. <laughs> She's just gonna wink. And she walks ahead. And she, mind you, Theodora like 
she's she's been part of the legion she knows to like how to bathe quickly and get herself like ready very quickly but she's like babed her hair's all done up she's wearing her best toga like she's looking probably way more presentable than you guys have seen her in a little while and as you kind of this is not like on the road theodora this is like okay i'm a cleric tonight kind of like i'm gonna i'm in my city (laughs) theodora there's a loud cracking sound as hand meets to ass as Oriana slaps Theodora on the rear. Yep. And says, now, cousin, behave. Oh, you know I was never good at that. None of us were. <laughs> nice hit, though. Thanks, I've been working on those. Some situations call for a gentle touch. Some well, no kink shaming. Mm. <laughs> All of the fun. We're really strange. So, <laughs> Emotional you meriander forward. You see I don't that the marry st- anything. <clears throat> Oriana is going to lead uh, those of you who wish to participate in the event. Uh, one yep. Fortuna, uh, Ceres, and Nico. All right, they get to a specific spot, and you're all. <clears throat> There's a gentleman, a Larissan uh, priest, who is there. He's like, very handsome individual, blonde hair, kind of a nice square jaw, green eyes. And before you, he's like, ah, oh, sisters, welcome. Will anyone in your group be participating? I believe we've, we brought quite the gathering this time around. She'll like look look to the three who came with her. Oh, a Ceres. Wait a minute, aren't you Ceres? I met you in the bathhouse the other day. Oh, it's very nice to meet you, lady. I didn't mean to be terrible. I'm sorry. I'm Nico. I'm pulling Plan 42. <laughs> well, I identify actually as a man. Well, sir, I hope you have a wonderful time. I'm very sorry that I uh, was in the bath. It was very bad of me. I am very bad stressed. Oh, He's no, working. no, no. You were very charming. We all loved your company. Ah, good. Then I get many kisses. I can't wait. Just... Just enjoy yourself. Have a good time. Oh, no worries. I'm going to throw beads at a lot of people. Oh, dear. You don't throw the beads. They have to give you beads. I don't throw beads at Ceres. <laughs> ah, beads. I like beads. Thank you. I don't know. It seems to work. <clears throat> also, if you throw enough beads at him, he doesn't bite. This is true. All right, make sure to get your beads honestly, because there will be a quiz at the end. And your kisses. What? I don't like what, quizzes. What? What? No, I, I don't do standardized testing. Uh, are you participating in the event? If by participating, you mean watching all of you go way the heck over there and no. Oriana steps Oriana in. Oriana gave no. me some go away beads. <laughs> She is just going to be handing out beads. Oh, is she going to be handing out kiss? Uh, just beads. It'll be for the best for everyone. <laughs> just, just, just beads. Oh, feisty. Wait, weren't you the one who picked up Ceres? I'm going to go fishing around on my, like, check my belt. Pull out my Pugio. <laughs> you see this? This is my lucky dagger. You know what its name is? No. Kisses. <laughs> All right, Adita. Please give me an intimidate check. Sure. <laughs> sure. I love this. Oh, it's Adita, though, so it's going to be a trash roll. Oh. 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 Not bad oh. at all. 
<laughs> hey! Uh, I I understand your meaning. This is a joyous festival. There is absolutely no need for any physical altercation of any sorts. Plus, Oriana just explained. So we will just leave things as they are. Please hand out your beads. My go away beads? Absolutely your go away beads. I like go away beads. And if people understand or they have any sort of instinct whatsoever, they will take the beads and just go. <laughs> if I run out of go away beads, I'm going to start sharing kisses. I, I think you have enough beads for the event. Okay. This is going to be great. Do you want some beads? I am not participating in the event. I would love some beads. I already gave you beads to rest. You're <sighs> supposed to go away afterward. Go away beads. Then he looks at Oriana. She's like, she's strong. And Oriana smiles like, yes. Is Constitution her best stat? Maybe. <laughs> All right. Um, who else is participating? All right. And you're... Oh, will you be participating as well, sister? Of course. Wait, participating is the one giving the kisses stuff. Yes. Oh, okay. So you're not trying to get kisses. You're just handing them out. Handing out kisses yes. and beads. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm actually looking for the people who are running. Uh, your your name, ma'am, and he pours to uh, Fortuna. Fortuna Valmihin. A uh, Valmihin. My, you're very, you are incredibly colorful, for a Valmihin. You're just not wearing purple. You have a wonderful sense of style, I must say. Thank you. And sometimes the best way to hide is in plain sight. And that is an absolutely fabulous outfit. It seems very chaotic, but yet it has a wonderful order to it. Thank you so much. You have such a sense of style. I'm sure we can chat about it more after festivities. Absolutely. And you, my handsome friend, will you be going be one of the runners as well? Were you talking to me or to the lizard? Uh, I would be talking to you. My dark-haired friend. Ah, yeah. Yeah, I'll be running in. Uh, Nico Valborda. Oh, Valborda. Fascinating. Oh, I'm sh better be careful. There's probably going to be many Larissans that are going to gun for you if they find out you're a Valborda. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Well, as the story goes, and I'm sure you may have heard it, but remember... Larissa revived her husband, Kadic, with a thousand kisses. So you can understand how some Larissa, those who are very faithful to Larissa would probably like to reenact what their goddess did. <laughs> the look on Adida's face is everything. <laughs> she is very grateful. She is not a Valborda right now. It'll make for a good beads. time. And if I run out of beads, I've got kisses. I'm going to hand Adita a couple more beads. All right. By the way, how are we all dressed today? Are we, I was about to say, are we in armor? Are we in togas? What's going on? Well, we were already told if we should or could be running in armor or not. So yeah, Nico has his armor. <laughs> he has his swords. He has his guns. Oh, unless sir, we need to put them away. Can can you ch at least check in the firearms or put those <laughs> away? And the blades. Uh, Ceres is going in a uh, loincloth and his sword. The sword on his back or on his side? On his back. Okay. He's literally just wearing, like, loincloth, leather harness, sword. Fortuna, 
her that this was a festival, so she looks like she fell in a Claire's rack and said, I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> God, but it's Claire's circa, like, 2005. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. So, Ceres, Fortuna, and Nico, once your weapons are put away, or peace tied. No. Or peace tied. I don't know who peace is, but I'm not giving them my sword either. As, no, you, no. as 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 this conversation is happening, Theodore is just gonna tie a sash around the sword. There we go. There, that's a peace tie. See, it's a fancy thing of putting on your sword, sir. Theodore just starts dangling the string in front of his snout. <laughs> I'll find it eventually. Give me a second. And so, Ceres. <clears throat> Uh, Fortuna and Nico, you are all given a red lathe to show that you are a participant in this event. All right. Enjoy your time. Enjoy the festivities. Enjoy the food. There's just so much to do. Oh, over here. If you want to sign up, please, over here. Take care. And Oriana, have a great time. And you as well, sister. Why are you so familiar? Wait. Uh, it's been a while since I've been here. Oriana, is that your cousin who went into the legions? Oriana's like, yes, yes it is. Oh my. This is such a wonderful day. Okay, okay, we'll talk later. Please, everyone, yes, go no, have we'll fun. Catch up. All right. So, three of you are sent to a starting area. <clears throat> uh, Adita... Ariana and Theodora. Theodora, you are allowed to wander and freely be wherever you want to be. <laughs> I will be exactly one arm's length behind Oriana. With all of my go away beads. <laughs> nice. I just want to, I'm just picturing this as this is really short woman that's very angry holding a bunch of beads in front of her go away theodore is just gonna be around oriana yeah i love how we just have the, like the two lurisons and then the gremlin in the background with the beads it's great it's i love it like a buddhist priest just fondling the beads handing them out to people <laughs> <laughs> Except way less lasciviously than the priest. <laughs> the priest, yeah. The yeah, priest is usually like, yeah. He's... Yeah, and then we have Adita. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, ooh, what was his name? Oh, now I'm going to have to look it up. Dang it. Sanzo? No, it was a grumpy, uh, a really grumpy Zen master, and I forget his name. <clears throat> Dave? No. no. Close. Hen Henry? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> so, so so we're at ye old fantasy mardi gras and this is gonna yep. go badly for no one yep so several horns start to blast all over the city huh. the festival of a thousand kisses is about to go underway there's a second horn that is blown and you see there's several people now you know, bending their knees, men and women. All of uh, the age of consent and up is mostly a lot of young folk are participating in this event. And there seems to be some older folk as well. And there, you even see like an elderly couple holding hands as they're about Aww. to run with everyone. And as a thor third horn blows, we're off to the races. So let's do this. Let's start with Fortuna. Tell me, would you like to use persuasion? Or is it diplomacy in this? Persuasion. It's persuasion, persuasion. right? Persuasion. Persuasion, intimidation, or any other skill to try to get a bead or kiss. Beads or kisses. I will use persuasion. All right. Please give me a persuasion roll. All right, do me a favor and roll. Roll me 2d4. Uh, 
All right. Let's see. You have received two kisses and three beads. Nico, do me a favor. What would you like to roll for? What skill, what ability would you like to use? Oh. You know what? I'm just going to follow Fortuna's lead for a second and just uh, try persuasion. See how that works. All right. Please give me this persuasion roll. All right. Um, you're going to get uh, one pity bead. Unfortunately, it was from Adita, so it came with a knuckle sandwich. All right, and now, <laughs> Ceres, what would you like to use? I've been debating this whole time how I want to go about this. I've been thinking about intimidating people to force them to give me all their beads, but I thought that would be terrible, and I don't think Ceres would do that. And then I was like, you know what I could do? I could stealth around and just steal everyone's red uh, band who's participating. Uh, so then they couldn't participate anymore. <clears throat> uh, but then I thought that that's a lot of work, and uh, Dave is going to make that difficult for me. Uh, and then I was like, you know, I could do persuasion, but Ceres is not very persuasive. Uh, so at the end of the day, all right, I'm going to use athletics. And I'm going to run in and out and weave between people who are handing out kisses and beads to obtain them. All right, you know what? Give me an athletics roll. I will allow it. 19. All right, give me a... Give me a d6. Actually, no. Yeah, give me a d6 roll, please. Four. All right, Ceres. As you're bobbing and weaving and people are handing beads, you are collecting them. Someone, some lovely young lass is going to kiss another lovely young lass. And you move in between them just in time to steal a kiss and goes, ha ha! two kisses. There you go. You got both kisses. Thank you, ladies. I appreciate it. What? What? I know. I am very cute. He's okay. You don't have to be. Mm -hmm. You don't have to thank me. I love it. It's adorable. All right. Um. Now. <laughs> now we're gonna go to Theodora. Yeah, Theodora. I get. You got two kisses and two beads. Ah. Okay. Theodora. Mm-hmm. Uh tell me, how how do you feel about people coming up to you for beads and kisses? Here's the thing. Theodora is in like show woman mode. She is in like, I've been here before, I've grown up doing this, this is just what I do. It's been a while, but she's like going all in. She's, you know, just not has no Qualms giving kisses or beads. You know what? Roll me. Roll me 2d8, please. Okay. Oh, 2d8. Got it. How do I. Uh, is there a space up? Yep. Okay. All right. I was uh, like, is there a space in between? Oh, whoops. Give me one more. There we go. All right. You have so far handed out two beads and one kiss. Okay. Maybe this spot is not the ideal spot. <laughs> That's fine. should move. It totally isn't the gremlin behind them. I don't know what you're talking about. Hey, Dave. <laughs> yes. Hey, GM Dave. How many beads does Adita hand out? We'll get to you in just one second. Ariana, on the other hand, hands out eight beads and six kisses. She actually nice. is going to have to reapply. As for Adita, Adita, please do me a favor. Because of your that your nature, your imposing will, roll me a charisma check. 
Oh god. What I heard was roll me your dump stat. <laughs> Okay. What the hell? Do me a favor and roll 2d6 oh, for geez. beads. Okay. And if they're both sixes, you stab someone. <laughs> I did not say that. Ah, so <laughs> close. <laughs> <laughs> That would have been terrible for everyone. I'm so glad it didn't happen that way. Oh, so, no. I would like to paint this picture. Okay. I'm listening. Theodora, you've only handed a few beads and one kiss. Mm -hmm. You're thinking, maybe this is not a great spot. And you turn to look, and you mm -hmm. see so many people coming up to Ariana. She's giving out kisses yep. and beads. And you're like... What the? And then you look and you see Adita throwing beads <laughs> as people are coming to her and they're bam, bam, bam. I love it. And you see at one point, Nico walks up to her and she punches him and hands him <laughs> some beads. Theodora has no issue with this whatsoever. She is finding this absolutely entertaining. All right, round one. Round number two. Let's start with Nico. What skills would oh, you like right. to use? All right, seeing as how talking usually doesn't really work for me, you know what, may as well see if I can try to lean into the whole Valborda thing. Um, maybe religion or performance? I'll take performance. Could I throw a bless on myself? Absolutely. Is it a bless or is it bless or uh, guidance? No, the bless spell lasts for like a, a minute. Oh, okay, sure. Give yourself one d four. If my character sheet will behave. Come what? on. Wow. Um, Nico, <laughs> receive another pity bead. Wow. Is this one? Is this is this one from just from Theodora after he gets like popped in the face with the bead? You see, Nico turns around and tries to sing a sonnet, but maybe because he didn't warm up his throat today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It Crazy. sounds like it sounds like someone strangling a seagull. Oh dear. Oh, so it sounds like Nico's singing. So yeah, you 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 give one B to Nico out of pity. <laughs> Nico's having a rough run here, everyone. It's okay. Fortuna, what would you like to do? Uh, let's see. Can I use persuasion again, or do I have to use something different? If you use persuasion, the DC is going to be higher. Got it. Uh, then I think what I'm going to do is use... Well, I've got performance as well. Let's try that. And she's just going to press the digitation to make herself just look a little shinier, little sparkles, things like that. All right, give me your perform roll. <clears throat> All right, do me a favor and roll 2d6. Okay. You have received six kisses and five beads nice all together or in all, addition oh in addition and as you are nice. what, what kind of performance are you doing 
she's not even keeping it subtle at this point. It's like one of those very suggestive dances that she might have seen at the circus. <laughs> I'm literally just picturing her like shimmying. <laughs> Like, that's literally all it is, is, like, glitter and shimmy. And folks are just like, holy crap, that's sparkly. Mm -hmm. There's some, beads for there are some, there's people holding out beads. There's men and women with red shiny lips. And I just casually walk up and kiss various parts of your body. That's what you got. Suress, what do you got for me, my friend? Besides a knife. Yeah, I was going to say, very, uh... He also has uh, a sword. I am going to... Let's see, DC is higher. Interesting. If you use the same skill. All right, I'm going to try... Let me ask you. Could I gain advantage? Oh. If I continue to cheat a little bit. And I am going to select all of the other priestesses of Larissa as my targets this time. And I'm going to tell them, if you give me a kiss and a bead, I will tell you of a Valborda you can uh, recreate the uh, illustrious scene of your goddess with. You know what? Give me <laughs> persuasion with advantage. Yeah, that was a good like argument. Have. Let's see. Performance persuasion. Yeah. All right, you know what? That's still a really good roll. Do me a favor and roll a 2d4. No! So you will receive one kiss and three beads. All right, and for our other competitors, um, go ahead, let's go and move to... Fortuna, not Fortuna, I'm sorry. Theodora, roll 1d8 for me. 1d8 or 2d8? Uh, roll 1d8 this time. Okay. Gonna just use the little clicker thingamabobber. Not the thingamabob. Hey, there we go. Okay. So... You will hand out four kisses and four beads. Or mm -hmm. only on the other hand only uh, gives out one. Apparently, mm -hmm. someone is putting on such a performance, it's keeping from other competitors <laughs> trying to compete. Uh, and Adita, do me a favor just for giggles. Give me an intimidate check. Why? I wasn't trying to be intimidating. You weren't trying. I wasn't trying. Okay. Go I ahead and do... Not trying. Roll 1d8 for me. Uh, okay. The real issue that Adita's having is that everyone's like, hey, there's this girl over there that if you just approach her, she throws beads at you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but if you talk to her... She stabs you. <laughs> I got like five stabbings before I learned my lesson. But I'll tell you what, she calls them kisses, so that's five. I think it counts. They're red. <laughs> five mm. beads you have disposed of. How is my go away bead stash doing? It's still pretty good. Oriana loaded you up. Do I have more than half of my beads left? Yes. Okay, this is fine. Are people giving me a nice wide distance? Not as much as probably you would want. I You're... throw my beads harder. And we will take care of that next round. So, let's go ahead and do Ceres. You're up first this round. Tell me, what skills would you like to use? Teres? Sorry, someone sent me a very funny video and I got incredibly distracted. 
<laughs> What's going on? <laughs> hey, you're up first. What skill would you oh, like to use? I'm up first? Why? I don't like this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use Intimidation now. Because I'm getting desperate. Okay. Give me pizza and kisses. <laughs> this is round three. Do me a favor and roll a 1d4. You get one kiss and two beads, i.e. a very begrudging kiss from a gentleman who's like, please go away. You scare me. <laughs> and two beads. Ah, good. Two. Ah, ah, ah. All Ooh, right, uh, Fortuna, uh, uh. you had a very great round last time. What would you like to do this round? It's not fair. She's fortunate. Wait, Fortuna, Fortuna. Oh, I see what you did there. It's very clever. I'm trying to see how I could use my insight to help me see who'd be more more susceptible Ooh. to give me beads. Can I help Ooh. with that? Because I have an idea about how I was gonna use that too, but I didn't want to. Cause the high. Nope. Not not this round. Let me see if I can DM catch. Fortuna. Give me an insight check. Alright. That's actually pretty good. Uh roll two D6 for me. All right, three kisses and six beads. You know exactly who to approach. And as you approach several people, they are more than happy to surrender beads and very various people surrendering kisses to you. You are starting to have quite a few kisses around you, quite a few beads around you. I'm keeping tabs like this is the fight ring. <laughs> <laughs> Nico, what skill would you like to use this round? I have no clue because I'm just rolling like, yeah, tonight. Brian, unlikely you need skill to create the Saint Armor lucky. guy. Yes, Saint Armor guy. Uh, Saint Armor good. guy, please watch over us. Saint Armor Guy, we ask that you bear away your ones as you are wont to do. Take them the fuck off with you. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have two grant inspirations here. Hold on. Wow. So. <laughs> Nico, <laughs> what skill do you wish to use? You know what? Charisma is just not working, but I know Kadic is known for like thievery and sneaking around. So let's see if being Dexy helps like a uh, stealth or sleight of hand to kind of like sneak my way in, kind of taking a page out of Ceres's book. Okay. Let's see. So, we'll go ahead and uh, remember, you only get one advantage that someone can pay for. And we're going to go yeah. with uh, Kezia. Give you a check mark there. So, please roll. Which one is better, stealth or pickpocket? Stealth. All right. Please roll me stealth with advantage. All right. Kadik is with you this time. Oh, almost forgot the 1d4 for Bless. There you go. Do me a favor. Roll 2d10. Yep, that happened. <laughs> Emotional damage. Hey, you got more time. You, you stole one kiss from Maiden Fair and three beads from other participants who were not paying attention. 
for this is the way of Kadic. If you are participating in this event, you have to guard your beads as if they were other very important extremities. Now. Are we doing phrasing? Phrasing. Phrasing. All of the phrasing. Two, four. All right. Theodora. Hmm. For this round, roll me. Roll me 3d6. Let's see how many beads and kisses you give away. Uh, splash. Huh! Exactly average. <laughs> wow, that's awesome! <laughs> exactly average. Do I get a bonus because I rolled all three of the same die? <laughs> Four kisses given, three beads handed out, nine people who have walked away very happy for being graced by you. Now... <laughs> Let's see, Oriana will also dispatch. Okay, that's an impressive roll. Two, She's two, two. Three I kisses. 20? Do we need to talk? Three Girl, kisses, okay? three beads, give it away. There we go. And Adita. Uh, do me a favor, roll a, an intimidate check for me. Here I am, you know, prepared to roll dice, but no, no, I need to once again tap the dump stat. <laughs> and All here right. we are. So for it's yourself, bad. do me a favor and roll 1d12. Wait, uh, what? A d12. Okay. <laughs> Well, looks like someone got stabbed. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I don't I know what to tell you guys. I'm handing out kisses right and left. Yep. So, as Oriana and Theodore have brought a crowd, several more have actually wandered more towards Adita, where she started throwing beads left and right and kind of a... Very big, muscular fellow, long black hair, and says, Ha ha ha! Wearing one of the red lays. Little one, would you like to give good old Gaston a kiss? Oh. Sounds like an invitation. No assault from Oriana. She said what she said, sir. Why did she say no assault? I would not hurt this little thing. All I ask is for a kiss and somewhere on my kadoom, 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 as his pecs rise on my person. She can join many other women and handsome men who have graced themselves with my presence. Yeah, this is part of the reason why Theodora doesn't always like this event. Ceres climbs on top of someone. Hold still. I'm trying to see her stab him. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Fair. assault if he doesn't live. Then it's murder. <clears throat> <clears throat> the lady said no assault. But I... Huh? Orion says, yeah... If I were you, I would take the beads, because if she has to say it again, she may just stab you. I kick his kneecap. All right, roll a d20. You just want a straight d20? Yep. Okay. Well, no, make it make an attack roll. That's what we're looking for. Yeah. He's he's he's. He's roll like that. You're rolling your claws. Wait, I give her inspiration. <laughs> well, technically, my, oh, wait, I have an inspiration that wasn't used. We could just use yeah, mine. There we go. There it is. I mean, mine. Yeah, I guess I would probably treat it as like rolling, rolling Your my claws, claws yeah. as non-lethal. Yes. So, um, you know what? That's gonna do it. But 
It's only going to be your strength modifier Fair. and plus one point of damage. So what's your strength modifier? Uh, <laughs> you sure you want it to be my strength and not my dex? Yup, because that's how the unarmed wor attack rolls work if you're not using your claws. That that's fair. That's fair. It's I have no modifier actually. All right, so you, you do one. one. Straight zero. He takes one point of damage as you kick him. You were aiming for the kneecap, but he lifted his leg and you wound up getting him in the shin. And he's like, oh, oh. <laughs> Nobody hits Gaston. At which point, Ariana steps forward. And she's like, listen. Do you want to go or do you want to leave? <laughs> to Make help her out, the can choice. I shadow step right next to her? Sure. And he's all of a sudden surprised that you're there. So you have Adita behind them. Nico here. Oriana here. Ceres is watching the whole thing. Scott He's like, movie. now let us go ahead and roll a d20 and add one to this. I was, I was Let's gonna, see uh, if he gets the insight. Oh, dear. He got the message. Okay. He backs away slowly and says, hey, 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 wait, 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 wait. Leave the beads. <laughs> Gaston doesn't need beads. He only gonna, needs kisses. Are you going to make us repeat ourselves? <laughs> he you tosses you the beads. Okay. Because, well, Adita did throw beads at him, but he wanted a kiss. Mm. Definitely has kisses in her hand. Uh, sometimes we get jerks during these events. I know mm. how to fix that. No, we're not, we're not hunting him down, Adita. I don't need to hunt him. He's right there. During this, because Fortuna was watching all this, she's going to try to quote unquote comfort Gaston, oh, but no. take any bead he's got on him. He has no other beads on him. He only has kisses. <laughs> take all of his kisses. Press to digitation. Can I wipe off his kisses with prestidigitation of sleight of hand? I mean, <laughs> technically, <laughs> yeah, like that's that's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a good that's a good use of everyone's turn, I think. Okay, you cast prestidigitation and says, "Who else would like to plant a kiss on Gaston's body?" Um, I you don't have any kisses. kisses in what? And he's looked, and he's in shock. But they were here! We're the one on my biceps! My pecs! Yeah, I think that's just the rash, man. Oh, dear. Wow. Wow, Nico. Let's see... Perfect, though. All right. As he turns, as you say, he's going to march on back, but he stops, looks in your direction, and just turns and walks away. <laughs> and Nico, as you look, you see Oriana gave him the look of death. Yeah. Well, hopefully, you won't see him anymore. Let's continue to enjoy the like festival. See him again. Fortuna's blowing on her nails. <laughs> wow, that was incredibly awesome. All <laughs> right. Um, Nico, what are you doing this turn? Well, um, yeah. So, well, since stealing things seems to be working better. You know, may as well just keep that up. Only uh, instead of just trying to stealth it through, try to slide a hand it, and just kind all of... right. Give me a slide of hands check. Let's see what how, what you can steal. Would this be with advantage since there was two inspirations thrown at me before? Well, you're only allowed one inspiration per game. Yep. Eh. 
Other one's gonna go to the one I have was gonna go to uh Slovenus. That. Oh, Congratulations! When I yeah. track Gaston down and kill him in the alley like a dog. Yep. Uh, roll one d four. You will receive two beads. I'm sorry, man. What did you do to roll 20? <laughs> roll 20! He didn't do anything to hit. He didn't do anything to roll 20. It's supposed to roll 20 is doing to him. Roll 20 does what it wants. I don't know why y'all even wonder. Yeah, that is fair. All right. Uh, Ceres, what are you doing? Uh, did Gaston go into a very dark alley, perchance? No. Is he still in the crowd? He's still running through the crowds, trying to pose, do thing to get kisses. Oh, I'm going to keep an eye on him. Rotten bastard. He goes into an alley. And I'm going to give him a kiss, all right. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's... You want to give him one of Adita's kisses? Oh, don't worry. I have one of my own. He's fine. <clears throat> oh, dear. So I haven't used stealth, correct? That's the one I haven't used yet? Correct. You haven't used stealth. You used athletics, right. you've used intimidation, you even rolled with uh, advantage on persuasion. Alright, I'm gonna roll with advantage. Uh, I'm gonna use my inspiration. And I'm going to inspire myself to uh, stealthy, stealthily run around uh, towards Theodora and uh, them. You know, the, mm -hmm. the, the triumvirate over there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna steal along the way. All right. Oh, stop, but wait, stop, stop. once I get there, I'm going to ask all three of them. I'm going to be like, I don't, I didn't get any geese or any beads. Can I have one? You can see he has kisses and beads. Yeah. Please. Sure. Oriana will come up and put a kiss on your snout. Yes, Theodora's gonna kiss deal. the uh, like uh, it, it's just that the two cousins are just gonna kiss him on the cheek. Yeah. There you go. You want one of my kisses, Ceres? No. <laughs> but I'll take a bead. Yeah. Okay. I guess that's fair. Hey, I already gave you a bead. Ah. <laughs> now, also, Ceres, do me a favor and roll a two d six for your <laughs> sneaky sneaky. Nice. All right. Look at nine all together this round. Ceres. Let's see. <laughs> Three plus four plus two. It's Matt. All right. All right, Ceres. Pretty good round for you. You've collected some beat, four beats, and three kisses. You know, some of the people who've kissed you, like, hey, I saw you at the chili cook-off. You were awesome. Oh, yes. <laughs> I love how Ceres is the most popular. <laughs> now, uh, Lady Fortuna, you are up. What would you like to do? Seeing Nico's kind of having a tough time of things and knowing that Fortuna kind of likes to mess with the outcomes of things, uh, I'm going to sleight of hand basic telekinesis some beads that are in the air to land on him instead of another competitor. Ooh. <laughs> nice. Give me a sleight of, a sleight of hand check. All right, since this is round four, give you round. go ahead and roll 1d4 for me for how many beads he will get. All right, uh, Nico, you get two more beads. So you surrendered your, ta your turn to help your friend out. Super cool. Now, you know, this competition has been going a while. You know, when we think of rounds, we think of six sections in combat. But these are like, you guys have been almost at this for like almost 45 minutes an hour. And an hour is how long this part actually runs. So, for Theodora, 
do me a favor mm. and roll 3d10 for me. Hey. Oops. Uh... Not bad. All right. So That's we'll say perfectly average. Ten kisses and five uh, bees were handed out from the lovely Theodora. Let's see if Oriana can do just as well. Damn! Nice. Many, many kisses given. Many beans. Be beans. Beads are thrown. People are gearing up, ready, getting as much time in before it is done. Uh, Adita, do me a favor. Let's see how many beads you give away. Roll me 2d12. Oh, okay. That's a lot more d12s than I expected. But, yeah, all right. All right. Imagine if you will. This is like an arcade. As things are coming towards you, you are pegging them with beads like, nope, no, 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 no. <laughs> yes, exactly. All right, final round. Let's do you this. still have beans? Beans? Beads. I can you make still have beads. Look at Steppy Snake. <laughs> Aw, beans. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. Uh, last round. Nico, this is it. This is a big chance, buddy. What do you got? Yeah, not really much else at this point. I mean, I guess I could try to rely on the reputation as being the champion of the circle or champion of the fight circle. Oh, okay. that's even a known thing up here. Have you thought so. of your reputation as Miko? Deception. You know what? Yeah. I'll try to give it a shot and just pass myself off as Mika for a little bit. All right. Give me a deception check with advantage. Go figure. All right. <laughs> Nico. <laughs> Roll me. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Nico as Mika. Roll me. 3d12. Holy pork. I mean, the chunk. All right, let's say... Hmm. Let's say 14 kisses. And 13 beads. Everyone, oh my god, it's Mika Valbordo! 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 Ah! Uh, uh, Nico, this is the life. People pining for your attention. They want to kiss you. They want to give you things. Damn, I can get used to Mika's lifestyle. All right. Fortuna. What would you like to do? Last one, right? Last one. Let's see. Question is, how bad does she want to get? Answer is probably pretty bad. <laughs> it's competition. <laughs> you want to win. Correct. So, we're going to do the tools and trinkets. Would that be okay for me to create a pole and use acrobatics? <laughs> You know what? I'm down. Go ahead. Give me an acro Love Give me an it. acrobatics check Amazing. with advantage. I I'm not drinking enough for this and I <laughs> wish I could fix that, but I don't want to step away. Oh, now you make me want Oh, Orioles. okay. Last round though. Roll you me know, uh, It was too slow to buy you inspiration. You can still spend it if you want. I will. All right. You only get, since you already had advantage, you get one more roll. Okay. 
Roll me 2d10. Exactly average. Okay. You start putting on a performance and you can see that there are some parents in the audience trying to cover their children's eyes <laughs> and maybe trying to cover several adults are trying to cover their eyes. Some are peeking over. People are enjoying the show and some people are just letting it rain on the state your little uh on your little platform stage Ceres, you're up what would you like to do okay what i would like to do is i'm going to use all my good ones you know and that's always the issue using all the good ones first Hmm. Do you want a poll? I will make one for Ceres. <laughs> yes, give poll. Surrender poll to Ceres. <laughs> Are we gonna uh, have Ceres's turn ready. to use the poll? Roll acrobatics. What? <laughs> Wait, what the crap? Also, hold on. That's not <laughs> it because I also have. Where is my? Uh, oh God! It's because your tail. By the way, I also gain a uh, when making yeah. acrobatics or athletic checks relating to balancing, jumping, or swimming. I'm considered proficient, so I You're also gain nuts. plus two more to that, so 25. That's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. Ceres, oh <laughs> roll me 3d12. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's just too shocked to throw anything like that. Yeah, they really <laughs> were. What did I just watch? <laughs> you will get four beads and four kisses. I mean, <laughs> Fortuna's looking at this shocked and she's applauding. Yeah. She's encouraging applause for this. Yeah. We <laughs> just hear right? a rise like, of applause from that corner. Uh, there's a point where you just kind of got to go, well done. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he drops, ha! Upside what? down no on the pole. Damn. Where are my beats? Without his hands or legs, just the tail. Yeah. Where are my beats? That's it. <laughs> you know what? Screw all of you. I'll take my pole elsewhere. I Where's love it. It's amazing. I've got some screws. Yeah. Y'all need to focus, okay? I did great. <laughs> 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 oh, God. I got to make a clip of that later. Okay, uh, Theodora. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, roll me, since this is the last big push, give me 3d12. Okay. Ah, that's not what I want. Don't do that, please. Hey, ooh, that was actually oh. very good. Theodora is handing out kisses and beads left and right. People are cheering. They are surrounding her. Everyone is just laughing and having a good time. Let's see if Oriana can match that. You know what? Oriana yeah. does pretty well for herself. Again, Larissans are just so popular during this event. And Adita. Your Dora just starts doing a fan dance partway in. <laughs> Do me a favor, give me one last Intimidate check. Sure. Sorry, my roll 20 just decided to have a fit. I mean, that ah, roll, yeah, roll 20 likes to do that on occasion. All right. You see that uh, some people are like, can I get some beats? You can throw it. Yes, I can. Can I, can I peg them right in the nose? You know, just roll me 1d20, like a ranged attack, and let's see what happens. Add your dex. You want me to treat it as just a, a straight ranged attack? Yeah. Okay, yeah, cool. So I can just, add my dex to that, can't I? Oh, yeah, just treat it like when you're firing one of your flintlocks. Okay. 
Okay, well, I, maybe firing one of my flintlocks would be odd because that would be a ridiculous attack. But hey, I won't say no if you said it that way. Wow. 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 As you, as you reach back to throw your beads, you step back and you tumble over and beads go everywhere. They go <laughs> flying about. And it's just like a scene from a movie where you move in slow motion and as you're going down, your beads are going up all over the place. I just go full Sonic the freaking Hedgehog. Just <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know what? I think I think I deserve this myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and Adita, do me a favor. Roll three d twelve. Let's see how many beads you lose. Oh. It's gonna make for a messy roll. <laughs> if any of you touches me, I swear to God, I'm going to hand out kisses to everyone. Really? Yeah. Kisses for everybody. Come on. You want one? People grab the beads and leave. Theodore goes over to help up Adita. So does Ariana. I told you I hate your city. Nobody even cleans your streets. Actually, the streets mm. are pretty good. Sanitation is one of the best things about Sweet Savone, especially in this section of the city. Nobody blink, blink. even cleans your streets. There Beads there everywhere. Gonna... Just gonna People pat developing strange kissing obsessions. Putting All their right. mouths on things. So the horns blast, signifying the end of the festivities. Hmm. As you see, several Larissan priests and priestesses are pointing to some of the participants and explaining that they have to go on yonder to get everything tallied on up. All right, let's start with Fortuna. 6, 12, 17, 20 kisses in total. And 6, 10, 13, 18. 18 beads. So our grand total for you is 38. Not a bad run. Not a bad at all. Let's see. For Ceres, 3, Five, seven, uh, eleven, fifteen kisses, and four, six, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen beads for a grand total of twenty-eight. And Nico, let's see, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen. 20, 21, 22, 22 beads and 15 kisses. For Not a total bad at all. of 37. Was that including Whoa. the one from before with Theodora? 38. Theodora gave him a head start. It does pay to be Mika. All right, give me one second. I ain't shaving the beard though. I look prettier this way. All right. And one more. All right. 
So we got a bunch of averages here. So, oddly enough, during this festival, for the first time ever in hundreds of years that this festival has been going on, there's a three-way tie. Oh ho. Okay. Interesting. So Fortuna, Nico, and and It's not Gaston, is it? I hope not. Pretty There's a two-way tie as Ceres is going to kill him tonight. Oh dear. And a rather stout Abyssian gentleman by the name of Hethmetet has also tied. He seems to be your typical uh, Amarantian gentleman. You know, dark, uh, uh, very dark eyes, usually probably from the makeup. But he is very well built, very handsome face. But he keeps a very nice bald pate. And you see he has kisses everywhere on his head. And he looks at you too. He's like, <laughs> got rid of the hair to make more room. That's amazing. Okay, Paul. Right? <laughs> so, a couple of Larissans are gathering together. Oriana and Theodora, you're invited in this uh, little competition because the, the GM was not ready for a three way tie. Are we, All are right. We sure, why not? Racing? So, um, usually during these events, only one person is the definitive winner. How do we want to handle this? Uh, check their stamina. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> and and everyone turns and they see the Ceres in there. Um, I'm sorry, this is a clergy business. Clergy business? No, oh, okay, okay. I leave. Loki, Loki Theodore just wants to see. Yeah, no, we can check their stamina. <laughs> oh, I no. mean, you see, it's a couple people. Mm -hmm. the, I, the idea is put in their head, though. How about a fight to death with unwieldy weapons? No, no. No, I, I, they all laugh at that. Hmm. The, I mean, the actor is going to chuckle, but I mean, there is, so, there's always wrestling. I don't think it would be fair, but the stamina check could be fun. How? Mm -hmm. What do we do for to calculate a stamina check? How about, like... Hmm. Oh! One guy jumps up. What about burpees? Oh, no. <laughs> Let's just Theodore see. Is, Theodore is not going to oppose this. All right. So the clergy has come on back. And they say, all right, we need the person who will be selected. We need to test their endurance. And everyone goes, ooh, with a burpee competition. Aww. Uh, Give me one second. I would have so preferred fight to the death with unwieldy weapons. I mean, yeah. I mean, like, Theodore tried to suggest. Suggest a salmon. Um, and let's see what happens. I mean, I is mean, gone. I was just going to get Ceres on a leash and just hold him up. He's gone. You only rolled a 10. I saw your stealth roll. Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. leaving. I just tried. You're... When he was like, oh, this is clergyman. Okay. And he just leaves. You know what? Adita, give me a go ahead and give me a perception. You see Ceres leaving. I step on his tail. Ah, don't do that. It's clergy business. I have other business. There is a man who needs me to go over and check some more chili. It was very good. He liked my job last uh, last time. I put my other foot on his tail. Ow! I'm going to go kill Gaston. I'll be right back. Oh, I'm coming with you. Okay. 
Um, I, I feel like that probably should have involved a check, though. What kind of check? I, what are we doing? <laughs> I don't know. Well, Ceres just said that we're going to go kill Gaston. And while Adita would probably be all over that, I kind of feel like the GM should at least try to make this harder for us. No. You know what? I will give... Nico, Theodora, and Fortuna, please give me a perception roll. You know what? Let's go give one for Oriana. Day old Cuban bread. Jesus Christ, Starglass. We That's didn't want to murder people. Okay. Uh, so, Nico. <laughs> Nico, Fortuna, and Theodora, you see Adita on Ceres's tail. At one point, it looks like she was chastising him. Now she looks excited about something. I'll just make my way over there for a second. Nico, oh, no, good. no, you no. Here. Where are you going? You're part of the competition. Where are we there? You winners can't leave. That's terrible. No. And then we have, for, we have Fortuna and Theodora, who are both very prestigious. Uh, People in clergy, they can't, they can't leave. They have to help make decisions. Me and the wonderful Adita will be going, and I'm going to go and do some more chili competition cooking. Okay? And we'll be back. I'm going to mm. pull some of Ceres' jerky out of the bag that I have. Is a, that, is, that is jerky. That is a lot of jerky. Yeah, Ceres. Do you want the jerky? You know, I would love the jerky, but I have something more important to do with chili, and that has a lot of lamb in it. So I'm going Wait to go enjoy that. No, you, you didn't say we were going to. You said we no, were going to kiss the Yeah, exactly. Jerky competition. Right. And we're going to go Jerky have a good competition. Time. All right, we're everyone, give me an inside it. check. You two, give me deception checks. Should I? What do I have to roll this? that on disadvantage? Okay, someone understood. Oof. <laughs> 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 I'm just gonna start it's like eating. True to a piece like of he said, we could go kill. Yeah, I mean, have a jerky <laughs> eating content. We're gonna eat jerky. Fortuna, yeah. you have never sent such murderous intent in all your life, and you know exactly what they're gonna do. You're like, oh my god, they're gonna go kill that guy. <laughs> I mean, he's not a good person. He probably deserves it. But I'm actually probably gonna put a stop to this because Theodore likes the city. I'm yeah. gonna ask one of the like guards or somebody that's around. Hey, they really seem to want jerky and chili. Do you mind escorting them over there? Oh, yeah, escort us, please, Mr. Guard. <laughs> 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 After you. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to laugh. Theodore's just gonna he just glare at. Here's the thing. The guards Theodore's like. Just... Yeah, no, this ain't. This ain't gonna work like this. <laughs> Do I'm me a favor, keep... stay right here where I can see you. Yeah. The door is just I'm gonna just going to keep glare. staring at Ceres and just start eating his jerky from my bag. That's really They're standing that really person. close, and I don't have any more of these go-away beads, or they've stopped working. All right. The is just going to glare at Ceres. So, Fortuna, Nico, give me athletic checks. <clears throat> As oh Ceres jumps out the nearest window. Can I Damn use my Ceres. whip to catch him? <laughs> that's so I'm, that's I'm not doing that just two. yet. So that's I have my whip at the ready. A screw came out. Yeah, what Fortuna's screw? like, oh. listen, I didn't dress for this. My sports bra is back in the room. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Where'd that come from? So as the competition's going... Fortuna, this is not your jam at all. Nico, this is an opportunity for a vacation. Finally, maybe just some quality time alone, but not really quality time alone. Not where you're <laughs> going. However, even though I rolled a 17, I added three to that roll. Ah. So you and Pethmatet 
are duking it out. You guys are just on the street, burpee after burpee, and it goes on for like five minutes. Neither of you losing cadence. And like some people are impressed at the physicality of this. You both with determination in your heart and your faces. But in the end, your calf cramps on you, Nico. Ah. And you see that he's able to do two or three more burpees ahead while your calf is just <laughs> tightened up and you're unable to continue. No way to just lay on hands to fix it? Not for this. By the time you laid on hands, he was already <laughs> up and down. It was a good competition. But in the end, Hethmetet is the winner of the Festival of a Thousand Kisses. Many Ooh. cheers go about. People are cheering for the new winner. And a lot of people, you know, come and they pat you on the back. Many men, many women give you, like, the symbol of solidarity. And a couple of people also applaud and they cheer for Fortuna because... Who can ever forget that pole dance? <laughs> I mean... I'll tell you. What. Not many people would forget that. that especially after... Well, especially when the Ceresin went and did it. I mean, let's be honest. His was better. Yeah. <laughs> and you see as people are beginning to disperse, a bunch of the clergymen hoist... Het Matet on their shoulders, and they you see them walking towards the Grand Ziggurat that is the Temple of Larissa. Meanwhile, as everyone is dispersing, you are all left together with Oriana, having a wonderful time. Adita, with a look on her face, you see a an older human male that seems to have some some semblance of wealth. He wears a very nice toga, very nice stole, with a, a hat over his head. He's like, Ah, oh, I remember all of you from the fight pit. I sent a letter of introduction. My name is Calvuso. And I would like to interest you in a job. Well, all right then. Well, is that that's where we're ending it for the night, isn't it? Dang it! That's where uh -huh. we're gonna end it for this evening. Uh, didn't we talk about that job? Yes, he did send you the letter of introduction, yeah. and he happened to be on the streets during the festival. And quite frankly, y'all do kind of stand out. I don't know With what the pole you're dancing Ceresin? Yes. I have no idea what you're talking about. Still covered in glitter. <laughs> so, yeah, that's everyone who came out to the stream today, I want to say thank you. Thank you very much. As a GM, I know I had a blast. I love hanging out with these great folks here and just having fun. But before we go, one of the things I like to do is I like to showcase each of my players and give them a chance to tell us what kind of projects they're working on. So let's start with uh, Adita. What you got going on there? Oh, uh, hey folks, I'm Heidi Hogarten, your general spook at large. I play Adita uh, every week here on uh, Burnished Band. And uh, I'm actually in between voiceover projects uh, right now, I just wrapped up my uh, my latest project, which is the Bloodline Chronicles Witch's Night, the first novel of Bloodline Chronicles due out in September. Um, you can catch it on Audible uh, starting September 7th. Um, and I, man, I really want to tell you guys about the audition that I have uh, coming up, but I don't want to jinx myself. So wish me luck. I've got an audition for a show that you have probably watched um, to do some voice work. So yeah, wish me luck. Yeah. All right, Nico, what do you got for us, buddy? Uh, well, aside from rolling atrociously here on Thursday nights, 
Uh, Monday nights, you could also catch me at the Random Encounter Production Podcast, REPRPG, with their Disaster and Danger game. And hopefully I roll better there. Because, yeah, Roll20 hates me. Roll20 just hates me. Yeah, it, pretty, it, it really did hate you today there, buddy. All right. Uh, Fortuna, what you got going on? Hey, guys. I'm also, you know, uh, part number two of Team Trouble over there on Rep RPG, playing Treasure. And uh, don't really have my own channel or anything like that. But what I do have is an art Instagram that you can follow, uh, Critical Kez. You can also catch me on Twitter and on Facebook, also under Critical Kez, if you're really looking for any D&D based art. I actually have, I'm going to QuestCon and doing a new series for QuestCon of pinup monsters. So be on the lookout for that. Super cool. Uh, Ceres, what you got going on, buddy? Nothing. I don't do things. I don't like them. They're very irritating. Very much a homebody person. Yeah. And Gorman. Yeah. Speaking of which, aren't you supposed to be putting on pants? No. Oh, four aren't minutes. you supposed to be taking off pants? In four minutes, I take off pants. Uh, very and nice. Good job. Fellow Twitcher and VTuber, <laughs> Theodora, a.k.a. Shadow Sure, what you got going on? Uh, I don't got a I don't got much going on. I know I've been doing Monster Hunter in preparation for Sunbreak uh, at the end of this month. And uh, doing space stuff today night on my thing because uh you know getting raided by pirates is never you can never have enough of that oh, yeah, that's where no. you can find me I'm sorry wait we're having a pirate raid i want to watch yeah all the pirate raids they'll be on stage. Woo! Woo! yeah pirates. You, could see, you could see me freak out and scream as i try and crash my ship into all the asteroids trying to run away wait how's that different from tuesday it's not <laughs> i'm in i'm freaking in <laughs> And myself, my name is GM Dave. I've been your host for Roleplay Games, a variety Twitch channel that features TTRPGs, video games, and fitness. So please follow along. Um, you can check out all the socials that have popped up in chat. We have Discord, we're on Twitter, and we are on Facebook and Instagram. So please look us up. And before we go, one of the things I like to do every single game, remember adventures. Do something for your mental health. Do something for your physical health every single day. You're an awesome person and deserve to live a long, epic life. And don't forget, it's June. It is Pride Month. And here at Roleplay Games, we recognize Pride Month because we believe in all human rights. Because everyone deserves love and should be treated with respect. So this is a safe place for all my LGBTQ plus friends. And with all that being said, um, there's a new young man that I uh, got to meet, uh, know over the weekend while I was playing some video games. So we're going to go ahead and give him a raid today. His name is, give me one second, Daniel Danger TV. So let's go pay him a visit. Let's go ahead and show him some love. And remember, adventurers, to always, and I mean always, crit those gates! We'll see you all in the next stream, so check us out. Bye, everyone.